Welcome to Booker. Today we will walk through the Booker account just to get familiar with how to navigate the system. First, we want to make sure we are using one of Booker's supported internet browsers, either Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. Once logged in, we will land on the system settings area. There's a lot to explore within the list of settings on the left. This is where we set up the account and how it will work on a day-to-day -day basis. Within the location info page here, we'll see the location ID. This is the unique number given to each individual Booker account, and we'll use it when interacting with a member of the Booker team. Take notice of the pencil icon we see here. We will see this icon throughout the system, and when we click on it, we will be able to edit that section. Along the top of the system is the navigation bar with all the tabs and pages within those tabs. We can click on the arrow icon on the tab to get a dropdown to quickly navigate to a page within it. And once we are in the tab itself, we will also see those pages here. The Appointments tab is where we book and manage appointments. The Customers tab is where we manage customers. The Orders tab is where we manage orders and the point of sale. The Schedules tab is where we manage employee schedules and time clocks. The Marketing tab is where we manage customer emails, specials, and other marketing tools. The Products tab is where we manage products and can take inventory. The Reports tab is where we will track business metrics and analytics, including sales numbers and payroll. We can always come back into system settings by clicking the words we see in the top right corner of the account. One thing to point out is that Booker has different login roles with different levels of access to the system. We are currently signed in as an admin, which has access to everything, but the other login roles have limited access and won't see the system like this. When Booker wants to notify users about new features, system updates, or training webinars, we may have a notification that pops up from the bottom left corner. Booker is continuously evolving, and we like to keep our users up to date with the latest news. And if we have any questions about Booker, we have a couple of ways to access the Booker Support Center. We can click on Page Help from the page we are currently in, which takes us to the relevant article. We can also click on Support from the top right to get to the Support Center. Here on the Support Center, we can search for different keywords, browse different topics and articles, watch training videos, and sign up for the live virtual trainings that are free to attend. Booker's Support Center is by far the best resource available to us while using Booker. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.